weight painting is actually really way too difficult, especially if you're a beginner in Blender, even for advanced users, really. So, hey guys, welcome back, that's by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to use the weight painting feature a little bit better and a little bit easier um, than you previously have, because it's, like I said, it's really difficult, uh, especially especially when you first start out and uh, and things can get really confusing really fast, and then you feel like you, you completely demolished your rig instantly, and it's just, it's not, it's not a good time. So I'm gonna really quickly just uh, make up a, a rig here and I'll be right back. So if you cannot tell already, I actually have a new huge monitor. It's uh, it's actually really, really, really nice. I just got it and uh, it's uh, full HD now, so I don't have to uh, mess around with any, you know, scaling video kind of stuff like I did before. All right, guys, so I've made something very, very, very similar to a Minecraft rig. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a bone, put an armature in it. Um, it's not actually connected all that well, but that is 100% fine. The the worse something is built, the easier it is for something to go wrong. So keep that in mind. If you go ahead and take your time modeling and uh, and do all of that stuff and take the extra step while modeling, uh, rigging will be a much easier process because, like I said, the more off, the more uh, messed up something is, then, uh, then the weight painting will just be very very difficult so I'll go ahead and uh, add a bone right there all right so now I have uh, I have our, our, our rig and our bones I'm gonna go ahead and uh, join all of our pieces of our rig together um, actually I do, we don't have to actually do that we can go ahead and just select the all the uh, pieces if there's more than one piece and then go ahead to our rig control P with automatic weights and uh, with our with our uh, with our rig slits you can see we have some really weird stuff since we have a lot this is what I was looking for right here so now this is the kind of stuff that you get a lot Ooh, this is actually quite messed up if I go to the side here let me redo that All right, we'll put that back in his body, and then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, automatic weight paint this again. We'll re-weight paint this, uh, selecting all of the pieces of his body. Going ahead, selecting the armature, control P with automatic weights. And now you can see if I go ahead and move his head, some really weird stuff happens. And this is exactly what I wanted. All right, so this is the problem a lot of people are probably having um, with weight painting. And you can see this is, this is oh, this is so bad. This is very, very bad. All right, uh, so if I go ahead and and look at the weight painting for our, for our models now, I'm going to go ahead and actually join all these. Like I said, I was going to, I'm going to join all that. Um, together and now our weight painting our pose should still work. Yep. There it goes um, So if I go and select our, our our model and go to weight painting You can see all the problems we're having. This is exactly the problem we're having You see exactly what the problem is as soon as you open it up If I'm controlling the arm there should be no color on anything else other than the arm and the same thing goes with the body here And uh, you can see that's not the case and this arm over here and the head as well It's only controlling the top portion the top vertice right there. So that's a problem the way we can fix this is that you see if we go ahead and uh, and hit add and just add all the uh, the weight painting to every vertice that we have, which is which is only on the vertices for this this model, um, we can go ahead and move the head. But there's a problem. You can see we have this really weird deformation. This is this is exactly what I needed, by the way. This is so perfect. Um, so if I go ahead and move it, you see this really weird deformation. The reason for this is because, like I mentioned earlier, that something else is controlling the head. Now, I don't know what it is. Up oh, there it is. The arms are controlling the head. We don't need anything else trying to control the head because the head bone is trying to control the head. So if we go ahead and get rid of all of the weight painting on the head from the arm bone, if we select the arm bone and get rid of all the weight, pa weight painting from the head, then if we didn't miss anything you should be able to see that if we go back to the head and move it you can see that it's moving a lot better now now we got to do the other arm and get and get rid of the weight painting on this piece as well so if you get rid of the weight painting on that this is the torso right here it's on that too uh, if we get rid of the weight painting make sure everything's gone just even the little slightest bit of blue will will make it off so if i go select the head again you should be able to tell that our head now moves perfectly. You can see exactly what the problem was is that the arms and, and the torso were previously controlling the head when we didn't need it to be. And we can go ahead and do the same thing for our entire rest of the rig. So we do not want our, our we do not want our torso connected to our, uh, our, our our arm at all in any little sort of way. So we'll go ahead and, uh, and make sure that's all knock, knock, good, good. You can see on the edge right here, there's a problem because this is orange. We need it to be red. So I'll go ahead and hit add and I'll just pop it right there on that corner. Luckily, we can actually do that without without tapping the edge of our torso. But if you can't, um, a really good way to do this is actually just go ahead and go to edit mode of your mesh um, and select all of the faces of whatever you want to weight paint. 
And uh, if I can grab that one right there. Um, uh, yep, right there. So now we have the entire arm selected. If I go ahead and select, no, if I go uh, out of edit mode and, and make sure this arm, let, let, get the name of whatever the bone is you want to assign the weight painting to. So like we're trying to get the arm. We selected all the vertices in the arm. Now we're trying to know what the bone for the arm name is, which is uh, bone number five, which is why you should always go ahead and, uh, and name the bone. So I'll go ahead and I'll name the bone right now. The, the bone should be named uh, arm right. Um, so that's that. I'm going to go ahead and reselect all of our faces for our arm here. Um, hold down shift to select. Of course, grab that one right. Nope, not that. Not that. Make sure you got all the right ones. Grab that one. There you go. You can actually zoom into whatever object it is and scroll around and grab all the, the faces really easy that way. Um, so if you're having a hard time getting in there with uh, with the weight painting uh, just the way it is, you can go ahead and select all the faces and then hit assign over here on the arm. So the really a really good way to do this is go to uh, Alt I, no, Control I, sorry, Control I, and uh, let's say we we want to we want to mess with the arm with, with the right arm here. Uh, the way we can fix all of this is to get rid of the weight painting on everything else except for the arm. So we can go ahead and hit Control I, like I said, to select everything other than the arm and hit Remove. We need to hit Remove, and and now that everything is removed, we can go ahead and hit Control I again. Uh, grab all the faces from the arm and hit assign. So now if we go back into weight painting, you see that everything except the arm is gone. All the weight painting for everything except for the arm is gone. But there's a problem. You can see if we go back to edit mode. No, if we go back to uh, edit mode, you can see the arm is not moving with our bone anymore. And the reason for this is because we do not have uh, our bone set up properly anymore. If we go and edit our bone, you can see the, let me change the name officially now, uh, arm R. Um, now, if we go ahead, go back to our arm, uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba, select uh, everything, like I said, hit a sign on our arm a couple times. Now, we can go ahead and do that because our bone was not actually named uh, our arm R. We just named that in the, we just named the vertex group. So we had to go back and change the name of the bone too, which is why I said it's always a good idea to name the bone. So we go left, uh, no, 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 arm, arm L for left, and this would be torso. And uh, it's always a good idea to name your bones. So always name your bones or else you might have a bit of problems. I might want to name this one root if I was going into a game engine. Uh, leg R and leg uh, L. Yeah. All right. So we have all that set up. Now we can go ahead and move our arms. And I'll go ahead and do uh, the same process for the torso here. Hold down shift. Grab all of the vertices and all the faces here. We can zoom on into the torso to grab the top one right there, which is oh, in the left one to make everything easier on ourselves. If I go ahead and uh, go back to uh, the uh, the object data tab here, go to root, which is what I named our, our bone, our stomach bone, torso bone. Hit uh, control I to invert our selection. Hit remove. Uh, wait a second now, this bone, this this face isn't selected. All right, okay, well I see you, I got you. All right, so make sure everything is done. Uh, hit remove a couple times. Uh, control I to uh, select the inverse of whatever we just had selected. Then hit assign. And as you can see, our arms aren't actually moving with our torso. So if we go into edit mode by hitting tab and then select both of those by holding down shift and then grab our uh, torso bone, hit control P and then hit keep offset. You can see that when I rotate this, now everything rotates perfectly fine along with with our arms um, and we have not fixed our bone for uh, for the uh, for our arm over here so we'll do that really quickly and then I'm gonna have to sign off guys we'll go ahead and uh, and do that right there see if I can grab that without going into edit mode yep that looks pretty good to me uh, is it working is it working yeah it's working but we got a little piece right here right there on his butt so we'll go ahead and uh, subtract that away just like that just the smallest little thing will ruin uh, weight painting. So you go ahead and now everything is perfect. We got a little bit of weird glitching down there at the legs. The volume is not being maintained. You can see we got a little bit of uh, weird looking stuff there, but that is because of the legs, which I'm not going to do on camera. You guys get the idea. You can see how you can perfectly make the rig a, mu a, bu a, a much better uh, rig than it was before. So I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. I really, really do. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comment section. Like always, I hope to see you guys in the next video, but until then. Bye.